What does it mean to be a sports minister? A written definition we, we use as a working definition um, is that a sports minister is an individual who uses sports to glorify God and influence others. Someone that believes in God and wants to live that out in the context of sports. I know that I can use soccer to have a relationship probably with people that I would, it'd be really hard for me to have a relationship with otherwise. They've understood that sports is a platform to share the love of Jesus and the gospel of Jesus with other people. Someone who loves the Lord and uses his giftings in athletics to, to glorify God and to influence others. We had never heard of Chicago Eagles, Charlotte Eagles, Missionary Athletes International uh, until her coach just you know, handed us the information and was like, hey, you should check this out. I knew that had to do with Jesus, I knew it had to do with soccer, and I was like, Stephen, you've got to apply to do this. And we looked into it, we heard about, we read about the Chicago Summer Academy. And we spent the whole summer uh, doing sports ministry for the first time, really, mm -hmm. uh, and learning about what sports ministry was. By the end of that summer, we, we knew that we were feeling this pull to the sports ministry. We were both really attracted to the international ministry. And so when we first moved uh, here to Charlotte, that's kind of what we were seeking. We were just seeking the Lord and, and that door wasn't opening <laughs> for us. And he worked in just incredible ways uh, to open up this Urban Eagles uh, ministry. I mean, I had even told Heather, like, I don't know if I don't know if Urban Eagles is for us at the beginning. And there was a tournament going on, and so we went out to the tournament, and just so happened that we were working with the Birchcroft kids, and mm -hmm. um, Steve was saying, hey, I'm having surgery, like, you know, I'm gonna need some help in the neighborhood mm -hmm. if you wanna help out. We've never even been to Birchcroft. Mm -hmm. if you were right around the same time, David Sanford was asking us about, um, how's your living situation going? And, mm -hmm. and uh, he actually dropped the bomb on us, and was like, why don't you pray about moving into Birchcroft? And, um, mm -hmm. So we mm -hmm. came here and mm -hmm. I mean, we, we just stepped in the neighborhood and it was like peace just mm -hmm. all over us. Soccer's always been huge in my life. Every day during the summer I would ride my bike or sometimes run a few miles to the field to just play with my friends. I was just like a junkie. I got in, involved with MAI starting in 2007 through the Seahorses in California. I just got on online and I just checked out what are the, the seahorses in Southern California. I was like, this is pretty sweet. I, I see like it's a Christian team and uh, like they do some sports ministry, this and that. It was actually my first introduction to sports ministry. After playing for the seahorses for um, the, the summer before, it was like my experience um, with them kind of like on steroids. So it was just like a lot more in depth. Um, guys with um, that are older, more mature, kind of um, knew who they were in Christ and they were just going for it. Um, and so that was kind of the culture and so I just tried to dive on in with all those other guys. I had opportunities um, that otherwise I wouldn't have had just to watch these older guys, you know, and how they were with their families, um, how they were on the soccer field, um, and how they treated um, the ministry that the Lord gave them in this city. I really just like was looking for a program to get involved in, to go deeper with my faith and with sports ministry specifically. Um, sports is what brought me to know the Lord, so I felt like serving in that capacity was um, where I should be. And so I headed to Chicago and the experience was awesome. It was very, the leaders there were very intentional, challenging us to be, to be more for God and to use our gifts and abilities to serve Him. And, Going through the material, the sports ministry training material um, of just kind of a theology of sports ministry and learning more deeper about how God wants us to be in the context of sport was um, just an incredible um, growing and learning experience there. Uh, from California, so I was playing soccer out there and I got in touch with a team called the Seahorses. Um, so I went and, and I, I played my first season um, and it was there that I believe God just began to work in my heart, uh, began the transformation of my heart and engaging it towards um, ultimately him first and the next, um, his children and just the youth. I saw guys that absolutely had a passion for soccer and these were guys that were living out their faith. Um, on the field, they played like true men who desired um, to serve the Lord and off the field, um, they put their arms around me and literally 
pushed me towards Jesus in the way that I live my life. Um, so I played two years with the Seahorses, uh, and then there was a, a tryout. Coach Steffens here in Charlotte, he came out to LA, and uh, I had zero desire to, to do that. Uh, I just was saying, hey, soccer is gonna be done, I'm gonna graduate, I'm gonna figure out the rest of my life. And right after the tryout, Coach Steffens offered me um, an invitation to come out to Charlotte and, and play on the team. Um, after some thought and just some prayer and thinking through what that looks like, uh, decided to come out to Charlotte and just give it a try. Um, with the men's team, we always talk about ministry first, soccer second. And that's really true on one level. But on another level, our ministry is the way we play soccer. Sports ministry training with the men's team, we call it life training, which is um, life influencers for eternity. Which means basically we get together once or twice a week um, in a classroom after training. And there's topics that we go through. Faith on the field and then faith off the field. And so we'll talk about things like gamesmanship on the field. Like what does it mean to be a Christian and, and be a soccer player? What it means to act with integrity, to live lives that are um, above reproach. Um, are all things that we just are challenged with daily and it's, it's an environment in which is unlike any place that I've ever been. So you got 25 of some of the most competitive people I've ever met in my life who after training um, were like a family that were at one goal and that is to love the Father and serve the Father with all we got. The Lady Eagles experience is an incredible mix of games and practices and sports ministry training sessions. There's discipleship dinners and a small groups, but there's also just your time spent just in relationships with other girls on the team. This last season made a huge impact um, on me as far as realizing how much soccer is just the platform that brings everyone into this environment. And for me, it's seeing like the girls' lives change through that and through the impact that God can make on a team of Christian women soccer players. As a women's ministry coordinator, I will be doing a lot of organization and stuff on the on the ministry side of things, which I'm really excited about because again, um, I'm realizing like soccer is awesome and I'll always play soccer and love soccer, but that's really just brings us together and is an environment where we can see these girls come in for the summer, um, the three months of the summer, and really be impacted by what Christ has for them that summer. And so I'm excited about being a part of the planning part of that and just um, building relationships with girls during the season and and out of the season, so all year round, um, just being involved in their lives and, and hearing their stories and what they're dealing with and struggling with and growing in and to come alongside them and be a resource as an organization and just um, being there for them, being able to pray for them and meet with them. A lot of that will be meeting for coffee or for lunch, just being intentional in these, in these lives. Being at camp with kids, I felt more alive than I've ever felt. Um, feeling like I have gills to be swimming in the water of camp. It was a love that was so clear because of what God was doing there. It had nothing to do with like the curriculum of camp or playing soccer even. It had to do with God's spirit moving over these kids. I can think of faces of kids who um, came running to their coach and said like, I don't know what it is that's going on in my heart, but like something's happening. Um, and a place where then a coach can just share exactly and clearly what's going on. And that's the spirit of God moving. And for me, getting uh, to be a part of that, it just, it rocked me. It, it, it got me so excited um, just to be there and to see God moving. That was the biggest thing. We are fortunate enough to be Urban Eagles missionaries uh, living in an inner city neighborhood. Sports ministry, being a sports minister, brought us into the neighborhood. And we were using soccer to build relationships with the kids through soccer practice and uh, playing soccer out on the field. Having the relationships through that was able to connect us to their families. I feel like we shifted from sports ministers to ministers. <laughs> like, but it was the sport, the soccer, that enabled us to have the relationships with the kids right away. I feel like I came in wanting big things to happen right away, um, but right now we're learning. <laughs> um, we're just hearing the, the Lord say, go low and go slow. We are to have deep relationships with the families here and serve, serve 
um, in whatever place that you can. I uh, play on the men's team and I also live and work in uh, Gear Heights with the Urban Eagles. My, my, my heart is to see this whole community transformed by God's love. And so it started with us rolling out a soccer ball two years ago and bringing a couple snacks. And so we'd play soccer for an hour, hour and a half and then sit down with kids and, uh, and just tell them how much God loved them. God had a plan for their life and we were there. Um, because we want to share that love with them, and we'd hug them. For me, it's just getting to know God's heart. Um, and all throughout Scripture, you see God's heart for the poor. For me, I get to learn a lot about my Heavenly Father as I love kids. He teaches me about how much He loves me through the heart that He gives me for these kids. These, most of these kids come from poor economic backgrounds, but also sometimes just poor in spirit. Um, and God wants us to be rich. Um, in all aspects and he wants us to be full of his joy and his love and, and you see as you start to love these kids um, it's contagious the things that he does we definitely wouldn't be able to be here in charlotte doing inner city ministry of the urban eagles if we hadn't had the training uh, everything about sports ministry we went through uh, and we, we just, we learned the culture of sports ministry. We, we felt really believed in, like that anything was possible and that there were no limits for us. And like, so just having people that we look up to believe in us, I think was really driving like where we were going. I'd say the examples that have gone ahead of me um, have been a huge, huge example for me specifically. God has really done a transforming work in my heart. Um, and it's come through a lot of different um, experiences that I've had here in Charlotte. That being said, there's, there's been an opportunity that's come in the past year for me, and that's to teach um, here at, at a school, Grace Academy. It's a, it's a great opportunity. It, it's something for me that I, again, feel like is just in line with what God would have me do. Um, connecting with these kids on a relational level, but ultimately engaging their minds and their hearts to see Jesus for who He is. Now being able to be involved in the Charlotte community outside of just the Eagles organization, um, coaching a club soccer team, for example, where I have U14 girls and they are ridiculous and crazy. It's just incredible to see the opportunity um, that soccer gives to reach these girls and to just be a good example um, of character and of godliness to these girls. So it's a neat opportunity. Um, to witness to them. It's a contagious feeling when you see your teammates step up in front of a group and watch the Lord move through him. Um, it just makes you hungry to say, like, God has that same heart for each and every one of us. He wants us to step into the areas of influence that we each have, whether it be our families, whether it be our friends, whether it be audiences of 100, 200, 300 that we get to speak it to a, a chapel or a game. Um, all those all those arenas are, are provided by God because He wants um, His people to, to teach His people. <laughs> has made me really see um, a greater picture of how He sees us, how God sees us. The way that I look at these kids now, um, it's, it's different. It's different than when I first started. And God's done a transforming work in my heart um, through that. I'm just on fire for sports ministry. I think that it's one of the greatest gifts that the Lord has revealed to the body of Christ. Um, sports is such a, uh, a universal thing. I mean, so many people in so many different cultures, different walks of life, uh, play sports. And soccer is probably the biggest because it's all around the world. God's just like, hey, I'm giving you a way to form relationships through sports. And uh, I feel like it's a, it's a joy. It's a joy to, to take a ball into countries and into cities and say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to form relationships and it's really easy. <laughs> I'm going to roll a ball out, you know, and I'm going to start to meet some kids and some kids are going to love me because I played soccer with them. And then all of a sudden, you've got access into their heart and into their life. Like, it's, it's, it's genius. Like, you know, 